Welcome to CFR Freight News. In this week from Freight News Online, major ports pilots autonomous trucks at container terminal, ocean rates soar while reliability plummets, and last week's top stories. Links to the full articles down below. In your air freight trade brief for this week, on the export side, Aero Wonder has published new rates effective 1 July. Cargo Lux will increase its fuel surcharge to 0.7 US dollars from the 5th of July. Etihad will resume flights to Vienna from the 18th of July. And lastly, Uganda has implemented a 42 day lockdown starting on the 19th of June, with our agents working at less than half capacity. On to the import side. A lack of capacity out of China is resulting in an increased rate in the market. Details with regards to our current block space agreements can be found below. Our partner Shipco Hong Kong have advised that there has been a slight increase in capacity this week, but rates have also increased slightly. As of the 1st of July, USA requires 100% of all international air freight to be screened. More with this coming soon and a list of upcoming global national holidays can be found below. And for your ocean freight trade brief for this week, starting off in Durban, with high volumes being moved through the port, appointment scheduling has become constrained with significant waiting periods for confirmed appointments. Durban terminals have introduced the Driver Truck Management Solutions, or DTMS, in which verification will occur for each core at the terminal. All trucking companies will need to ensure that their companies, trucks and drivers are registered with Transnet for this new DTMS system. In the Latin America, on the Durban service, please take note that the scheduled vessel, the Northern Democrat, has been placed under quarantine due to a case of COVID-19 on board, resulting in a delay to the vessel schedule. In the Mediterranean region, a notification was sent from MSC on the 22nd of June regarding Port Authority Union workers strikes in the Ports of Signs on the 28th to the 30th of June and the 5th to the 7th of July. In an updated notification received on Friday the 25th of June, an agreement has been reached and the strike action in Signs has been called off. Lastly, in the Indian subcontinent, a notification was published this week relative to the Pakistan proposed amendments to the Customs Act requiring that, a, that full commercial documents be affixed in clear view to the outside of the cargo's packaging. Potential penalties may be imposed on consignees for cargo arriving in Pakistan with no commercial visible documents on the cargo. Thank you for watching CFR Freight News. We'll see you next week.